This is what I need you to do before I start this vlog. I need you to, to go to the bottom of the video, hit subscribe, and I want you to turn on the notifications and become a part of notification game. You know, and once you're done with that, I want you to comment. And then I want you to go to Instagram and follow me at DRISH TV. Just another rainy day in Ohio. I tell you, this Ohio weather is crazy. You know, a woman in it's snowing, woman in it's hot, woman in it's raining, then the next is snowing again. Like I said in one of my previous vlogs, the rain is trying to hold me back, but it's not gonna hold me back today. It's not gonna hold me back. The day must go on. I'm letting y'all know right now, by the time summertime come, d Rich's waves are going to be spinning. I'm telling you, when you look at me, you're gonna get seasick. It's really funny to me how the FBI is taking time and investigating college coaches and agents somehow being associated with college basketball players accepting benefits. It's crazy because to me, there's so many other things that the FBI can be concentrating on. But instead, they so focused on this. I, I didn't even know this was an FBI problem. Like, why do they even care? Honestly, if somebody knows, please comment. Because these college basketball players should be able to go to the league anyway. But they enforced this one and done rule, which is a joke. Because these players go to college for a semester or three grading periods or whatever it is. And they take these classes that we all know they don't care anything about these classes because we know they're going straight to the league. We know it. So why do they even have to go to college for a year? When I'm pretty sure it's a player out there somewhere who was forced to go to another school when they really could have went to the school that they really wanted to go to, but instead, a kid that's going to leave within a semester or two anyway got the scholarship. You know, and not even going to stay off for years and get a degree. You know, I mean, to me, it's just a joke. You know, they make these kids go to college for a year. They can't accept any money. They can't make any money off their name. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. And the FBI really cares. I, did, I, did, I really didn't know this was an FBI problem. This stuff is a joke, man. You can go to the Army, fresh out of high school or the Navy or whatever, but you telling me I can't go to the NBA and who I can't who I can't make this money this is crazy you know and this has been going on forever college players been getting paid forever and it's not gonna stop let's be honest it's not gonna stop it never is the only way to stop it or to simmer it down a little bit is let these kids go straight to the league well, I just came back from the post office and I really need to find something to do today. I don't know what it is about rainy days, but sometimes they bring down my mood and I really need to find some motivation. And it just so happened that my guy called me and he said, it's the Cleveland Auto Show today. And I said, bingo. That's just the motivation that I need. I know a lot of you are saying to yourselves, you know, why are you going to the Cleveland Auto Show for motivation? Well, to me, I feel like a car is a a necessity you know you need to have a, a reliable car and right now I really don't have a reliable car right now it's just you know getting me by from point A to point B and I ride by the car dealership every day it's a BMW shop I ride by it every day when I go to the gym and I say to myself one day I'm gonna be able to go there and get a car any car that I want you know one day I just got to stay patient and I got to keep grinding and I think that me going to the auto show today will be just the motivation that I need you know, some people teach you that, you know, you shouldn't care about having a nice car. You shouldn't care about having these things. But yet, you see all these people around you, you know, driving a nice car. They have a nice house. You know, they have all this stuff. And they say you shouldn't worry about it. Well, if you want it, why can't you get it? You know, they teach you that you won't have heaven until after you die. But some people having a heaven right here on earth. 
You know, I read that in the book. You know, they teach you that, you know, you can't have the things that you want and you'll you'll get to live the way you want to in the afterlife or whatever. But why not try to have your heaven on earth? Especially if you see other people, you know, doing the things that you want, having the things that you want. Why can't you do the same thing? You know, I mean, that's just the way I think. You know, for all you kids out there, if somebody's trying to knock your dreams and, and knock the things that you want, you only got one life to live. So in all honesty, forget them. You know, try to get the things that you want, do the things that you want, and try to reach your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you what you can't have and what you can't have. You know, anything on this earth you can have if you work for it, period. So I went to this thigh place last night, and I got this eggplant, some type of eggplant stir fry. And when they told me that it was good, I said eggplant. Ain't that the emoji that people are always using? Pause. And then I'm like, okay. I heard about it. And I heard that it's a good meal for vegetarians and stuff like that. So I tried it out. That's what it looks like. And honestly, it's pretty good. It got a weird texture, but it's pretty good. I'm glad I decided to try it out. Just got here to the car show, about to look at a little motivation, you know? Me and my dude, Shabron James. One day we're gonna be, up here, be able to walk up in here and buy any whip we want, period. I like that, I don't even like orange, but I like that right there. Them rims, sick. Oh my goodness. That blue is clean. Oh my. Man. Oh yeah, that's clean, bro. You need that. Man, you ain't gonna know how to control yourself. It's tight though. I'm talking about Backseat tight? It's over for it. That's why I don't like two seaters. What's up, man? Looks like I need a ride. You know, it's motivation right here. That back seat. Look at that back seat, though. It's tight. Ain't nobody <laughs> sitting back there. Hey, I'm rolling dolo. It's two. It's two, and that's it. Well, he said, oh, Martin, lose your friends, though, if you want to get in the Benzo. I like this all black charger right here. I can see myself in that. Okay. What y'all think? Did y'all see D Rich in that? What y'all think? All black charger, maybe a little black tent. Call it Batman. Here we are in the BMW hey. section. Oh, that's that. BMW section. I told y'all. I ride by the BMW shop every day on the way to the gym. And I'm telling you, one day I might just go to the BMW lot and get a whip off of there. If that's what I want at the moment. Tuh. Man. A car that I know I'll look best in is a Range Rover. I know that for a fact. I know it. Oh my God. Here we are right here, the Range. The range is corny, they got all their car locks. Man, they pull up. Who was that? No. They got it locked though. But one day I'll be able to open it. So they got the Ashton Martins, the Rolls Royces here, but you gotta pay an extra fee to go in there and see them. Well, actually fill them. You gotta pay an extra fee to go in there and actually fill them. I guess they don't want no broke people in there getting fingerprints on the windows and scratching the paint up. I respect that. That's that Audi R8. That boy clean. Sheesh. What's the price on that? 177,000. 177,000? Too much for me right now. <laughs> Way too much. <laughs> Dang. They said African Americans are the number one consumers of Mercedes Benzes. 
and I see why. Sheesh. Oh my goodness. To all you kids out there who aspire to have nice things, man, you can do it. You know? Like I said, that's why I came out today. Wanted to see a couple of nice cars, and that's what I did. And it motivated me. So all y'all kids out there, keep dreaming. Anything you want in this world, you can have. I ain't gonna lie, this might be the worst vlog that I done did yet. But I feel like I had to do it, you know, because I needed some motivation today, so. I wanted you guys to see it, you know. This is real life. No joke for me. Dearest TV vlog.